This video is about metallic bonding and IB chemistry. Do you remember the definition of a metallic bond from our overview video? Well, let's see it in action. Here we have a bunch of copper atoms, and like all metals, they have a medium electronegativity. So if the situation's right, they can be persuaded to give them up. When they all get together, they decide to share all their valence electrons. These shared valence electrons are called delocalized electrons because they're free to roam around. And as you can see, the positive metal ions form a rough lattice. Here we have silver. And like all metals, the delocalized electrons of its metallic bonds are free to move around, which means that silver and all metals can conduct electricity quite well. Here we have gold, and here we have thor. Now gold, like all metals, will not just simply break when we hit it. Instead, the gold will deform upon impact, or bend a little bit. This is because the metallic bond allows for the lattice of positive ions to shift or change shape a little bit without breaking the bonds. This is why metals are malleable. It's also why they are ductile, which means they can be drawn into wires. Sorry, Thor. Maybe you should have used a cool metal name like Iron Man. The end. Thank you.